okay? So those are my tips on lymph retention, guys. Hey guys, I am Miss Lauren Lee 11. If you're new, welcome. If you've already subscribed, hey guys, how you doing? Today I'm doing a little quick chit chat video whilst I style my hair with Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. Okay, so basically, but, um, babes <laughs> basically guys i've been asked questions of how i retain my length uh how i keep my hair so healthy and some of these answers i'm going to tell you i've most probably mentioned in previous videos but the reason why i mention them again today is because some of you guys may have missed that and it's still relevant today some of you guys have been asking how i've managed to retain length in my hair keep it looking thick or you know uh, maintained not having webbing what have you okay so the first key thing I found that's important with my hair is moisture 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 and lots of it now you may be wondering how I keep my hair moisturized without spoiling my style what I do guys as I mentioned I wash my hair every four days before you start on me let me just begin okay so basically I found that having natural hair is trial and error what I mean by that is, my mum has a similar curl pattern to my hair, but her hair texture is completely different. Her hair texture is more, I would say, of someone maybe with mixed hair. My hair is more afro hair. As you can see, I've got more frizzing. My mum does not get that. So she can use a styler, i.e. a cream, and she'll just have spirals. I need to have something like a gel, something with a hold, okay? So, what I've found, the way to reduce this frizzing is to keep my hair moisturized and the way to do that is to wash my hair every four days by the fifth day my hair starts to get very dry you may be thinking why on the fifth day i don't know that's just how my hair works on the fourth day it's kind of like mm, i could push this stuff one more day on the fifth day it's my hair is done it's dried and that's when i notice the popping and the snapping i can't really maintain a style anymore if i do want to stretch my style for a couple more days then i'll bun my hair as i've shown you as well this in turn leads me to not have to deep condition my hair every single wash day now i know you guys may be thinking what are you doing lauren deep conditioning is important to your hair yes it is conditioning your hair and keeping it moisturized is important to your hair but if I wash my hair every four days, it doesn't lose as much moisture. So some days, some wash days I should say, I don't have to deep condition, okay? And my hair still, you know, as long as I do put conditioner in, but I'm a busy person, not saying you guys aren't, but I'm just busy and lazy. <laughs> so I don't always put a deep conditioner in my hair. It hasn't had any adverse effects because I do condition my hair. I condition my hair after I've shampooed it because I need to detangle my hair. And again, that minimizes the breakage. And again, that increases length retention. So I did mention shampooing. Now guys, I shampoo my hair every wash day. Okay, so I've just been chatting, I haven't been doing my hair. If you're wondering why, it's because product buildup is not good for my hair at all. So what I mean by that is, if I was to co-wash my hair, which I've done many a times, you've used many different co-washes, I get product buildup, even though I've washed this co-wash out of my hair. And then I'll style it with my styler, I leave in and then I'll use the gel, which in turn then leads me to have to wash my hair sooner than necessary when my style is still popping because I've got product buildup. My scalp is itching. The product buildup also tends to make my hair flake and it's not a good look. So what I do, as I said, I cleanse my hair every wash day. So every four days, I wash my hair with shampoo and I have no issue, guys, with that. What you got to realize, guys, what may work for my hair may not work for yours. As I'm sure you're aware, having natural hair is trial and error. Like I mentioned, giving you the example of my mom's hair, what works for her hair doesn't necessarily work for mine. Any? Okay, so as I said, shampoos. What shampoos do I use? I use moisturizing shampoos. So I'll use either Tresemme's Moisture Rich Shampoo. Um, today I use the Moi. <laughs> Moue. Maui. So anything that's really moisture rich. Suave, the almond nut I think it was. And the Cream of Nature Detangling Moisture Shampoo. Anything that's moisturizing to my hair. And also if it does mention detangling on there then it's a bonus for me, okay? So those are the type, type of cleansers that I use. Nothing that will strip my hair and make my hair feel dry and brittle, but something that cleans my hair, makes my hair feel clean, but also 
moisturized okay so that is tip number two for tip number three trimming my hair every eight weeks it's approximately every eight weeks but i do trim sometimes earlier and i feel some very not all my curls at the ends are looking rather frayed then i will trim my hair and that guys helps my hair to grow i have definitely noticed a faster rate of growth from trimming my hair but don't overdo it guys as and when needed if it gets to the eight week mark then i'd say go ahead but as and when needed if it gets to eight weeks and your hair is still healthy then there's no point in chopping off healthy hair okay but it does make a difference right so detangling tip number four detangling okay so detangling with my hair i found that a lot of people are quite happy finger detangle their hair i've mentioned in previous videos i'm not a major fan of finger detangling my hair because i hate the way it feels through my fingers and i just feel like as i'm combing through my fingers through my fingers as i'm combing through my hair i can feel my hair snapping and i don't like that feeling so the way i detangle my hair guys i'll take a section like so and what i do even if it's really tangled like super super webbing what have you i kind of tease them apart so i go like so until i get smaller sections okay obviously there's no tangles in my hair at the minute because i have detangled already guys but i'm just obviously showing you what it is that i do so once i've done that now if i get a tangle that's a bit um disobedient what i do if it's like say like this is a tangle what i do is i hold the end taut and i kind of work my way down and i just keep holding that end and then it will eventually rub unravel it may take slightly longer than you know the usual finger detangling but at least i'm not ripping out chunks of my hair right so okay webbing i've had questions about webbing and cherry lola treatment so i haven't done a cherry lola treatment since last year and reason being is because i haven't needed to basically i used a cherry lola treatment as a deterrent for webbing so i don't use it as a regular thing i just use it as a measure to decrease my webbing so once that webbing is eliminated i feel you no longer need to use the cherry lola because then your hair does start to get dry and brittle you don't want to compromise your hair texture and stuff like that so i'd say if you do want to try the cherry lola or if you have tried it and you're not sure when to try it again basically just listen to your hair my hair still has tangles but i don't have extreme webbing like i did at my roots anymore as you can see and the reason being is because i wash my hair every four days <laughs> i keep my hair moisturized guys moisture is key i cannot stress that enough moisture is key and going on to moisture again so tip number five is anytime i do anything with my hair i always spritz it either with water or leave-in conditioner preferably water because by the time i'm ready to manipulate my hair it's around the time that it's going to become wash day and if i want to put it in a bun i'm going to spritz my hair before i do anything i'm not just going to pull it back into a bun because that is major breakage on a different level and you do not want that guys you want to retain length okay you want to retain length and health right so the last one i will say guys which i should have said in the beginning but i'm going to say it now because let's say we're back at just before wash day pre-poo i never used to believe in pre-poos i thought they were a waste of time um, i'm not even sure if you can call this a pre-poo but it basically is an amazing product i've shown you this before guys and i've got a link down below where you can purchase this it's the african pride takedown moisture and detangling mask guys this stuff is absolutely undeniably amazing i need to find a new word because everything's amazing to me but it really is so what i usually do is if i do push my hair for an extra couple of days and my hair is in a bun once i take it out of the bun i would then rub this in my hands it looks like this so i've shown you i have shown you in previous videos so it's quite gooey but it's got an incredible slip so what i tend to do is i'll massage it through my hair and it melts the tangles away apply the takedown mask and just as i said tease my hair apart perfect so by the time i come to shampoo in my hair now i haven't got to try and detangle my hair with shampoo in it okay so those are my tips i can't remember how many i gave you 
But those are my tips on lymph retention, guys, and they really are working for me. If there are some things you can take away from that or you can add to your regimen, then hopefully I've helped someone. I'm sure, hopefully. But as I said, guys, those are my tips for lymph retention. I try and keep it as simple as possible. I really do, guys, because time, money, they're not always on our side, are they? <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm going to carry on with this off camera and then I'll come back to you with the final result. Hey, guys. So I do apologize. I forgot. I forgot to finish this video. Okay, so this is the end part of the video. Just showing you how my hair turned out. Just got in a big puffy poof. It's turned out very nice. It's moisturized. It's puffy. It's all the above. How my wash and goes with cream usually turn out. But uh, yeah, this is it. Very nice. I did have to gel these bits here, just here. But other than that, that is it. That's my path. This is my little so-called protective style. <laughs> and that's it. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I will see you on Thursday. All right, guys. Bye.